All right, so I'll show you today how I go about creating my reels, TikToks, and so forth from some of my behind the scenes video um, that I use on my photo shoots. Um, so the first thing I did actually was I created a, a, a new Filmora project here and my project settings right now are the default 16 by nine widescreen, um, the 4K resolution, 3840 by 2160, uh, 24 frames per second, Rec. 709. That's like the YouTube uh, widescreen setting that I use. Uh, horizontal, landscape, whatever you want to call it, right? Um, so we'll change that in a little bit, and I'll show you how to do that. Because we want to do vertical um, video uh, for real. So I'm going to take, I've got some clips that I've dragged in here. I'm just in the media tab up here, top left. Make sure you click on that. And I've dragged some clips in here just from the file browser. If you want to, you can, you know, take a clip, whatever it is, you take it. Maybe we'll grab this one here and say it's a photo and I'll just click and I'll drag it over and it's now in my media pool. So what I've got in here is I've got what I like to do with my reels is I'll do some behind the scenes video and then I'll show the resulting photos from that video. It's usually from a photo shoot, something like that. Um, so here's my video. It's from my D, the DJI Osmo Action, the original, the OG, right? So I'm going to bring that and I'm going to click, bring that clip down and drag it into the timeline down here. So I'm going to, uh, we'll match it to media. It's fine. Um, and if we do that, I've got this uh, track turned off. Hit the eyeball, that'll turn it on. So I've got, you can see my widescreen. This would be for like YouTube. So, you know, if I play it, I like this clip because it's kind of, um, it's very <laughs> raw, you know. It's um, I've got this uh, Osmo mounted on my camera. Uh, so while I'm taking pictures, I can get this point of view, you know, POV um, sort of video that, that looks like this. And it's very you know, raw. So I'm going to turn the volume down because I'm not going to use that. All I did was clicked and dragged right here and drag the volume up and down. I'll probably, you know, you can go to audio up here and find some music to go with it. Or I'll probably just, you know, use the music later when I upload it into uh, Instagram or TikTok, right? So I've got my, my video in here and I know I have, I picked some photos ahead of time. Um, so I've got that one. Um, and then I've got that one and I've got this one. So pay attention to that one. Cause I think that's the one I just saw, uh, a minute ago when I was scrubbing through. So I, I you know, I want it to be short. I've got, I like the way, uh, this is sort of environmental and I've got the soft box and it's a little wobbly, right? I'm all over the place, but I'm setting up the shot, right? I love the way you can just click and drag and scrub through this. And so I'm taking some shots of her. I don't know if you can see the flashes and looks pretty good and so then I'm, I'm moving out um, I like the way you know there's a little pull out right there and we'll stop it right there and I'm going to hit control B which is my blade tool and that's going to cut it right there and I'm going to select this one to the right of it and just hit delete right so that just sort of an that's sort of an outro it just kind of worked out that way right I don't think I planned it that way so Look at this here, the way she's, she's got, you know, she's positioned there. I've got a shot similar to that. Actually, this was the shot in that session. So I'm going to put that one first because it's sort of a nice segue into a shot. And I just took the picture, clicked, and I dragged it down here. Now I can see when I get this, I can hover over. And when I get this little left, push left thing, I can click and drag and I can see the duration. I usually want to make these pretty short. I don't want to have a picture flash up for a long time I want it to be pretty quick so I'm going to set it at like I don't know like two seconds right um, somewhere around there okay um, so then I've got so it's sort of like a little she's doing that motion right there right there would be the shot and then I'm going to back out and then you go there and you see that that's the continuation so it sort of flows naturally into that um, now we'll do some little transitions like a flash you know um, so the next shot, maybe I want to do this one here. We'll go and we'll look at that one. So that's kind of cool. It sort of transitions from the last one. We'll make it about two seconds. And then the last shot, we'll do this one here, which is just another shot. Nope. That's the same shot. Let me find this one. Drag that down and let me see what this shot is and make sure about two seconds. 
Yeah. So we got three shots there, right? So now we can add little transitions. We go up to the transitions, click on that. And I've got uh, mine right here that I've added to favorites. And I like to use the flash transition a lot. So we'll click and we'll drag that transition and put it right over in between where the cut is right here between these two clips, right? So when you view it, we'll hit play. And then it's like there's a flash, right? That's too long, though. It's, all, it's not like a real flash from a camera, right? So you can click and drag to the right and make this little flash transition shorter, right? I'm just clicking on it and dragging it inward. And now it's a little short flash. So let's try that. And just like that, yep, maybe make it a little shorter so it's more like a flash, you know? One more time. We'll preview it. There, I like that. And now it's it's whatever transitions you like. Um, if you want to keep doing flashes, you can. I like to use the dissolve sometimes too. So we'll click and drag that one over the second one. And we'll make that a little shorter, just like we did the flash. Maybe not as short. So then we have a flash. And then we have a transition there, dissolve. And we'll do another dissolve. You don't have to do a dissolve at all. You could just have cuts if you want. You know? So we'll make the dissolve just a little bit shorter. And then for, you know, you could have a little fade to black if you want to. I don't even do that for these, you know, they just end these reels and TikToks, right? So it's not that important. So there's the first shot, there's the second shot, there's the third shot, and we're done. So, you know, we can go through. Now we've got the whole video. It's about, it's pretty long for a reel or a TikTok, but um, it's about just under 30 seconds. Um, but I like it, so... Uh, we kind of preview it here. We're setting up the shot, right? It's this point of view video. And then we just start the photo shoot. I don't know if you can see the flashing from the flash, but we're in there. And then what I'll do, um, since I have no other clips on here, I can just choose export. But the first thing we got to do, though, is it's not vertical, right? So before we export it out, maybe we go to File, Project Settings, and I want to make it, 9 by 16 portrait. That's the key, right? And the resolution for real, you know, 1080 by 1920, um, that's going to be good. That's sort of HD, vertical HD, not quite HD, right? But maybe we come down here and we choose this one and then we get like this, I think maybe that's 2K. I don't know. Um, but it's vertical, so it's 2160 by 3840. So we get a little better than HD, right, in our vertical video. It's going to be a larger file size. Maybe you go back and you choose um, the 1080 by 1920. It's up to you, whatever the quality you want is, right? And I say, okay. So now what happened? Oh, crap. Well, now my video is all small, right? These will be cool. These fit perfect, right? So those are fine. Keep in mind when you're doing this. You know, when you post it to TikTok and Reels, there's a space down here and along the side where there's stuff, right? It, it posts like the likes and the heart and the writing, your caption down there. So keep in mind, you, you're probably going to be using, you know, the, not all the bottom and not all the side right here. But so when you go back to this part, so let's click to activate this clip right here. I say activate. I don't know what the actual term is, but we've got it selected, right? And then we can click on the actual video. This is what I like about Filmora, that things like DaVinci make difficult um, and probably Premiere. I don't use Premiere that much, but I can just click on this and I don't have to go over and modify um, numbers. I can just click on the canvas and I can just drag it, right? Just like that. And maybe I just want to position it here, just like this. And now we've got it. I'm not so worried about the bottom being black here because there'll be writing down there and stuff, you know. So um, now we want to, you know, so you can see there's a soft box over here. So you have the context, right, even though I've cropped it out, so to speak. And I've got her centered up real nice in the video. And so now we've got it set up for vertical video. And all I did was I went to file project settings. That's the key. 9 by 16 portrait, and then you choose the resolution you want, right? And then what you can do, if you have other, uh, right here, you should be able to just hit export, right? 
and you want to export it out. And I usually just say, you know, since this is not a HD, it's 4K or 2K, whatever that is, someone enlighten me and tell me. Um, I'm not a video guy, I'm a photographer, but I just go with recommend because it's 145 megabytes already. I can go higher and it's 290. It depends on the quality you want, but I usually just go with recommended, right? And if you have audio like spoken word, I like to come into the settings right here and change the audio bit rate, make it a little higher, at least 256. Usually I choose 320. It doesn't really add to the file size that much. There's no audio in this one though, so it adds maybe a, a little bit, but not much. And then you just hit export and make sure you save to, you know, the directory that you want and you give it, you know, the name that you want. You hit export and we'll just, we'll go ahead and export it out. And I also love Filmora because it's so quick at exporting, right? It's just very quick. I don't know if that's good or bad. Maybe it's leaving out a lot of information. But it comes out really nice. So um, here's the video. Um, I will just open it up and you can see here. We'll preview it. It's vertical, right? Um, so it's ready to upload to Reels and TikToks. And it looks pretty good. Now, you know, I could go in and maybe add some contrast and saturation. I just like it the way it is um, straight out of the Osmo. I didn't really do anything to it. And, you know, 29 second reel. And there's the first shot. There's the second shot. And there's the last shot. And that's all there is to it. So hopefully you found this helpful. If you have other clips um, where you've done other reels, you need to Click and drag, select the clips that you want to export, right click and choose select clip range. And then that will export just this little piece, right? So if you got a bunch of reels you're working on, this will just focus on this part and you can export out and do it that way. So that's something else I use very often. If you found this useful, uh, let me know if you have any comments or, you know, I'm not a professional videographer or even video editor. So if you have any tips, um, leave them down in the comments and give me a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.